Hey, Daddy, want to see a magic trick? No. Pick a card. I said no. Well, then get out of the way. Mommy, pick a card. Okay. There's my card. All right, put it back in the deck. There you go. All right. All right, now I'm going to tap the deck two times, and your card will be on top. Is this your card? Oh, my God. Jeffy, that's amazing! Wait, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. I want to pick a card. All right. All right, Daddy, pick a card. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick this one right here. All right, now crumple it up and throw it away. Okay. All right. Got to tap the deck. Is this your card? <gasps> wait, wait a minute, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll give you 50 bucks if you tell me how you did it. <laughs> okay, easy. Throw all the same card. Jeffy, what? that's cheating! What, they're all the three of hearts? Yep. What? You can't do that, Jeffy. You have to use an actual real deck. Well, it's not cheating because you never asked to see the cards. Yeah, I guess that's true. <sighs> okay, whatever. That was all the money we had for the rest of the month. And I was going to go shopping. <clears throat> There's someone at the door. Hello. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I don't have my house payment this month. That's okay. I have another way you can pay for it. Chives, get over hey. here! Is your butler on a leash? Yes, because he's been a bad dog. I'm a human, sir. Shut up, Chives! So what do you want me to do? Well, Chives won't stop pissing in the closet. That's because you leave me locked in there for 12 or more hours a day! Learn to hold it, Chives! I can't! I'm 73! Listen, I've tried rubbing his nose in it, I've tried hitting him with a newspaper, and he won't stop! And I read online that if you have a dog that won't stop pissing, you cut his balls off and then he stops! So I need you to neuter Chives for me. You want me to cut your butler's balls off? Yes, and put them in a jar. He's serious. Uh, I'm not comfortable with cutting his balls off. Get over here! Heal! I, I'm not comfortable with that. Well, if you do it, I'll let you go three months without paying a house payment. Get back over here! Uh, okay, three months without a house payment? I, I really like that. Okay, cool. Here, take the leash. And hold on to it tight, because he likes to run away. Okay. And also, when I come back here in a few minutes, I better have a ball sackless chives. And don't be afraid to pull the leash, okay? Come on, chives. <laughs> so, Jeffy, what are you going to spend your 50 bucks on? Hookers. Get in here, chives. <laughs> Marvin, why is that man on a leash? Because we have to cut his balls off. Marvin, we can't do that. Hey, gang, this guy's bald. Is he your brother? Stop that. Listen, he's Goodman's butler, and he won't stop peeing on the carpet, so Goodman wants me to neuter him. Marvin. Go. You want a CD? What kind of CD? CD's nuts! Jeffy, get out of here. Okay, so listen, we have to do it because Goodman says that if I neuter him, we don't have to make a house payment for three months. Marvin, this is wrong. Let him go. Would you rather be homeless or cut this guy's balls off? Oh, I guess they gotta go. Oh, come on! Doesn't anyone have any sense anymore? Okay, listen, hold onto the leash. I have to go get some scissors. Scissors? But do not let go. He will run away. <laughs> Bad chance. Sorry. Listen. Ma'am, I know you don't have any balls, but if you would be so inclined to drop the leash, I swear I won't run away. You promise you won't run away? I swear to it. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Okay, do it. Oh, man, Marvin's going to be pissed. Okay, I got the scissors and I got some pain medicine for him. Wait, where'd he go? Uh, I let go. So he ran away? He promised he wouldn't. Oh my god, dude, you're so blonde and stupid and go. I'm free! Uh, what? No way! It's caught! Shit! Shit! Shy! Uh, Come back here right now! No! Get in here, Chives! No, God, please, no! Baby, hold the leash. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna cut him off. Marvin, don't do that in here! It's gonna be gross! Yes, and very messy! Ew, old man testicles and blood everywhere! Stinky! Okay, you want me to call a vet and see if they'll come do it? That's a good idea! I'm not a dog! Wait, right, hold on to that leash. Let me grab my phone. Okay, I'm calling the vet's office. It's ringing. Hello, veterinarian's office. Uh, yes. Do you neuter things there? Sure, we neuter things all the time. Okay, because I have someone I need you to neuter. Okay, well, how old is the little fella? How old are you? 73. He's 73. Oh, my God. In dog years? No, no, no. In human years. Wow, that must be the oldest living dog I've ever heard of. Oh, no, it's not a dog. It's a human. It's an old man. So we need you to come over to our house and cut his balls off. Hello? Hello? Oh, she hung up. Thank God! I guess we have to do it ourselves. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What if you didn't cut my balls off? Well, we have to cut them off because we don't want to have to pay our house payment for three months. Well, well, what if you still didn't have to make your house payment for three months? I have a plan. Listen, all you have to do is find something that looks like balls, put them in a jar, give it to Goodman, tell him an elaborate story about how you cut my balls off. But make sure you tell him I struggled or else he won't believe you. Hey, that 
That's a good idea. That is a good idea, but what are we going to use for fake balls? I don't know. Find something. Okay, I'll go look. Well, I'm not going to let go of this leash because I don't want you running away. Oh, come on. We've made it this far. I'm not going to run away. I mean, I guess we are cool now. Yeah, we're super cool. Like, dab me up, G. I guess I will dab you up. What? Hey! Yes, I'm free! Oh, no way! Ah, why does this keep happening to me? No, shit, 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 shit! No, no, no! Oh, come back inside! Come no. on! Come on, Chives! No, please! Just kill me instead! Okay, Marvin, this is what I got. I have two fake eyeballs. I have two balls I made out of Play-Doh, two spiky light-up balls, two bouncy balls, two peanuts, and chocolate balls. Ooh, the, the peanuts might work! You could roll them around in some ketchup! Maybe make them look bloody! No, no, no. Goodman's not gonna fall for any of these balls. Looks like we have to actually neuter you. No! No, please! The peanuts will work, I swear! Well, while you two figure it out, I'm gonna eat my meatball sub. Wait! Did you just say meatball sub? My god, that's it! Meatballs! What? Oh, yeah, meatballs would look like actual balls because they're meaty, have red sauce on them like blood. Exactly! But then what am I gonna eat for dinner? I don't care what you eat! Eat the peanuts! Marvin, go grab a jar for us to put the meatballs in. Me and Rose will wait right here. Okay, w wait a minute. No, I'm gonna stay right here and hold on to the leash. You go get a jar. Okay. I see I can't fool you a second time. Yeah, you're not escaping again. All right, Marvin, I put the meatballs in this jar. Oh, wow, that's so believable. That looks just like my testicles put in a jar. Ew. I mean, it does look really believable. I mean, it's all meaty and gross. So, Marvin, what story are you going to tell Goodman? Yes, Marvin, you have to make sure it's very believable. Tell him I struggled. Ooh, ooh, and tell him I screamed. He'll love that. I'll tell him something really good. Well, that must be him at the door. But, but wait, Marvin, I don't have any bandages. He'll never believe it. Oh, we could put one of Jeffy's diapers on. On him. Oh, Genius! Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so I'll get one of Jeffy's diapers. Here, hold the leash. Damn. Okay, and do not let go of him. And I'll get you one of the diapers. Okay. Hello? Are those balls snipped? Oh, those balls are snipped completely off. You actually did? Did he cry? Oh, yeah, he's still crying. Oh, I bet he cried. I bet it hurt, too. But Marvin, look, it had to be done. He wouldn't stop peeing in the closet. Yeah, I completely understand. But if you want to come see him, he's recovering upstairs. Okay, I'll come see him. Goodman's coming up the stairs right now! Look, Marvin, I found a cone! Very believable! There he is! Ow! Ow! Holy Ow. shit, you actually cut off his balls! Yep, he sure did! There they are in that jar right there! Are those fucking meatballs? Uh, uh, no, no, those are my testicles! Oh, yeah, these are what testicles look like outside the body. It's true! They look like meatballs from a Subway sandwich. Uh, no, 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 they just look old because he's old, that's why they look like that. Because we cut his balls off. Oh, yeah. So, Chives, tell me, because I have to know. How bad did it hurt? Oh, God, it, it hurt so bad. I was kicking and screaming, and he had me crying for my mummy. So why are the scissors clean? Oh, oh, be because Marvin made me lick them clean afterwards. Oh, that's something I would do. Nice touch, Marvin. Yeah, we had to sterilize him after he did it. Yeah, so Marvin, tell me how you did it. And please, don't leave out any details. Because I see eyeballs, Play-Doh balls, spiky balls, bouncy balls, peanuts, and Maltesers. Oh. Yes, Marvin, please don't spare any expense. Yeah, Marvin, tell us. So you, you want to know how I cut his balls off and I used all these items? Oh, yeah, please, because I, I have to know. Oh, okay, I, I, this, is, this is what happened. So we dragged Chives into the room by his leash, and he was screaming and crying and begging for us to let him go. So we threw him into a cage and fed him a bowl of eyeballs. And then when he got done eating those eyeballs, he wanted to come out and play. So we let him play with some Play-Doh because we felt bad, and he started making Play-Doh balls. And then he tried to run away, so he threw spiky balls at him and knocked him down. And then we said, if you try to run away again, we're going to feed you to the elephant outside. And so the elephant overheard that we said his name, so the elephant wanted to be fed some peanuts, so we threw peanuts at the elephant. An elephant, Marvin? There was an elephant outside, and that's, that's why we had peanuts. We fed the elephant peanuts. So then we chained Chives to the table, and he said, no, please, before you cut my balls off, I really want to see how high I can bounce a bounty ball. So we let him go, and he bounced the bounty ball over the elephant, and then we chained him back to the table, and then we cut his balls off with scissors, and we celebrated by eating Maltesers. So that is what happened. An elephant, Marvin. Yes, an elephant. That's why we needed the peanuts. Marvin, this is a fucking meatball. What? How do you know? Because I licked it, and I know that this is a meatball from somewhere. Ew! So I know you didn't chop off his balls. It's inhumane. You can't chop off a human's balls. Well, then give me the scissors, and I'll do it. No! No, Goodman, they're my balls. Oh, do it. Well, I'd like to see this. Oh, yeah? Well, watch this. Just, just let me pull them out first. What are you doing? 
Hey! Hey! Time you get your wrinkly ass back here and eat this meatball! He escaped again! Why would we give Junior, 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 I need you out of the house for the whole weekend. Now go! Wait, wait, well, I'm a kid. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, you're not 18 yet? Oh, that makes sense, because your ass would have been out of my house by now. Why do you need me gone? Because I got a lady friend over for the weekend, and we handling grown folks' business, and you cannot be here. Wait, who is she? Oh, she's a new mommy, but, you know, she calls me daddy, so she might be a new sister. I don't know. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, I got three tickets to Disney World. Look, you can take whoever you want, or any friend or whatever. Just, you can't be here. I got to use this red couch, and I'm going to be back in 10 minutes, okay? Uh, okay. Butt naked, so get out! Okay, I'll leave. I got three tickets to Disney World. I'm gonna call my friends. Well, I only see two. Oh, there's the three. I'm gonna call my friends. Hey, Junior, you sounded really excited on the phone. Yeah, dude, what's going on? What if I told you guys I have three tickets to do something so cool this weekend, it'll make this summer the best summer ever. Ooh, we going to Universal Studios? Close. Australia? Not close at all. A cruise? No. Look, guys, I got three tickets to Disney World. Oh, gay. How's that gay, Cody? We've been to Disney like a million times. Yeah, Disney's for little kids, dude. Let's go to Universal Studios where the roller coasters are. Yeah, roller coasters are cool. Disney World has roller coasters. They have the rock and roller coaster. Okay, they have one decent roller coaster. What about Space Mountain? And break my neck? No, thank you. Okay, they just opened up Tron. Okay, Tron doesn't go upside down. You know what does go upside down? Velocicoaster. Oh, dude, in the Incredible Hulk ride. Yeah, and Harry Potter, I could get some butterbeer and Hogsmeade. Come on, guys. We're going to Disney World. It's three tickets. Let's just go. Nah, I think I'm going to stay here. What? Yeah, dude, I'm going to go to the park. Wait, you'd rather go to the park than Disney World? Yeah, I don't want to wait in line for three hours to be disappointed. Well, guys, listen. Let's just go to Disney World. It's just for the weekend. It'll be really fun and we can go to Universal like next month. Nah, I think I'm gonna stay here. Guys, we have to hurry up and go. My dad's about to be naked on this couch. I'm sorry, what? He said he's gonna get naked and he's gonna be here, so we gotta go. Okay, I'm definitely staying now. I wanna watch. What? No, guys, if you're not going to Disney World with me, you gotta go. Leave. Oh, man, I wanted to see your dad's hog. What? You guys really aren't going to Disney World? Just like that? What? I have three tickets to Disney World and they really just won't go? Oh, oh, hell no. I'm, I'm gonna invite some other friends. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find some other friends. You hear me? I can't believe this. Hey, Junior, you call me? Hey, PJ Crenshaw, Jamie James Crenshaw, pair of Jamie's Crenshaw. Yep, that's my names. What's up? I have three tickets to Disney World, and I wanted to know if you wanted to go with me. Hmm, let me just check my schedule. Hey, ladies, you got anything going on this weekend? No, PJ. Well, looks like we can go to Disney World. Then let's go to Disney World. Come on, ladies, we're going to Disney World. Yay! Uh, no, 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 PJ, you're gonna have to leave one of your girls behind. Excuse me? Well, I only have three tickets to Disney World, so if me, you, and one girl goes, you have to leave the other girl behind. W one girl? What if I get bored? Well, you're gonna be at Disney World with a girl and me. You're not gonna be bored. But what if I get bored of that girl and I want a different girl? Well, just pick up a new girl inside Disney World. No, 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 no. I have to bring both my girls. Okay, well, what if you leave one behind and I do whatever that other girl does to make you happy? Believe me, you don't want to do what that other girl does. Come on, ladies, let's go. What? Well, no, 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 no. Oh, why doesn't anyone want to go to Disney with me? All right, Junior, your time's up. But, Dad, why don't you have pants on? Ugh, I told you, I got grown folks' business to handle. Now go to Disney now! Okay, back up so I can grab my tickets. All right, Get, all right. get that thing away from me. I'm sorry, I know it's out. Mm -mm -mm, my cheese sticks are almost ready. Hey, Chef Peepy, you want to go to Disney World with me? No, Junior, I don't have any money to buy any tickets, okay? I already have the tickets. I just want you to go with me. <gasps> me, Chef Peepy, instead of your friends? Oh my god, I feel so honored! Well, no, I asked my friends and they said no, so I'm asking you. So I'm your second choice? Well, actually, you're my third choice because I asked PJ Crenshaw and he said no. I'm your third choice? Oh my god, I can't believe you, Junior! I don't even want to go now! Well, no, I want you to go, come on! I don't feel special, Junior! You asked two people before me, then I'm your third choice! What if I asked a girl to prom and then she said no? Then I asked another girl to prom, she said no, and then I asked you! Do you feel special? No. Exactly! I'm the bronze medal in this situation instead of gold! I'm a why doesn't anyone want to go with me? You know what? I'm just going to go by myself. <laughs> Woohoo. I'm at Disney World. Hey, pal. Why you look so sad? You're at the happiest place on Earth. Well, Mickey Mouse, my friends wouldn't go to Disney World with me. Why not? Because they said it's gay. They said what? Take me to it right now! Uh, okay, I I'll take you. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's everywhere. Hey, Dad, I know you wanted me gone the whole weekend, but I'm back early. Oh, I really only needed five minutes. She was already gone. I blocked her. <laughs> and I almost got all the stains out of the couch. You're welcome. But I would warn you, if you smell a fishy smell again, oh, spray some Febreze. God, she's fishy. <laughs> oh, who was that? That was my dad. He bought me the Disney tickets. Oh, thank you for your business, sir. Now, where's your ungrateful friends? Uh, well, they're at their house. You want me to invite them over? Yeah, I want to speak to them. Okay, let me call them. 
Hey, dude, you call? Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be in Disney. Wait, what's that smell? Have you been eating red lobster in here? Yeah, I smell catfish, dude. Oh, hey, Mickey Mouse. What? Mickey Mouse? Are you the little shit that called my park gay? Uh, kinda. Ow! Well, it is. Yeah, it's for little kids, dude. Oh, yeah? It's for little kids? Dude, <laughs> so why do you have a knife? Mickey, put the knife down. Mickey, you said you just wanted to talk to him. This is how I talk! Well, guys, Mickey's just really mad that you guys didn't want to go to Disney with me. Yeah, why didn't you want to go to Disney, huh? Why didn't you want to go to Disney? Well, because Universal Studios is better. What does Universal Studios have that Disney doesn't have? Uh, Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster? Screw Velocicoaster! And the Incredible Hulk. All right, that one's pretty good. And Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Harry Potter? You look like Harry Potter! I was in one video. Ah! Junior, help me before he puts a mouse tool up my ass. Uh, Mickey, just calm down. All right, guys, look, let's just try to calm Mickey down. What do you want, Mickey? I just want to know why the Velocicoaster is so much better than Disney. Well, it goes upside down. The Rock and Roller Coaster goes upside down. Yeah, but like three times. Velocicoaster goes upside down like nine times. Oh, so you like going upside down. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'll show you upside down. Go pee! Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Mickey, sorry I'm late. Some kid bit me at a photo shoot, so I ate him. Oh, good, Goofy. But next time you're late, I'm going to make sure that your kneecaps are on the back side of your legs. Oh, Mickey, you ain't going to do shit. Goofy, don't embarrass me in front of these people. Well, how about you stop staring at me with your fucking Pac-Man eyes and tell me what's going on? Oh, well, our new friends here think that Universal Studios is better than Disney World. That's it. A middle finger, that's all you got? Well, what do you want me to do, Mickey? Eat them? I'm not hungry anymore. These people think that the Velocicoaster is better than all of Disney World. I want you to scare them or something. Well, Mickey, the Velocicoaster is pretty cool. I mean, it goes upside down. The Rock and Roller Coaster goes upside oh, down! Oh, I'll oh, kill you! Oh, down. Listen, Goofy, why don't you tell these kids about your special upside down ride? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, oh, but I don't know if they're tall enough for your upside down ride. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you kids like going upside down, so how about, how about you go follow Goofy and he'll take you to his special upside down ride path. Yeah, kids, let's take a ride. Well, I like Disney World, so only those two are riding, so go. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying your ride, kids? Since you like being upside down so much, how's this for upside down? Uh, okay, Mickey, I think you proved a point. No, they need to suffer. Go Show them what the name of the ride is! This is the incredible Gahook, and this is gonna be you, little fuckers! Bitch, die! Oh, oh, go on, Goofy! Now do them next! Here I come! Chugga, 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 choo, choo! No, 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 Go Goofy, don't do it! Well, get out of my way! You want some? No, 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 uh, wouldn't it be cooler to hit them with a hammer? Oh, good thinking, little buddy! Yeah, the hammers are upstairs! Okay! And Mickey, you should grab a hammer, too! Oh, great thinking! Hammers is way better than one. Yeah, um, all right, guys, I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some help. <laughs> well, gosh, Mickey, I don't see a hammer, but I found an axe. Oh, nice, Goofy. I guess nobody saw that coming. Oh, you hear that, Goofy? Looks like we have visitors. Let's go chop it up with them. Oh, boy. Hello. Hey, you call the cops? Yeah, yeah, Mickey Mouse and Goofy are in my house trying to kill my friends. <sighs> yeah, sure they are. Listen, kid, you're not supposed to call the cops because you had a bad dream. Maybe talk to your parents. No, it's not a bad dream. It's real life. They're upstairs grabbing weapons right now. Okay, I'm going to go take care of real crimes. Let me know if a real crime happens here. No, no, my friends are tied up. Just come inside. You can see. <sighs> okay, I'll take a look. Look, officer, look! Oh my god, kid, what'd you do to your friends? I didn't do this, Mickey and Goofy did this! And what's this? What, are you gonna tie me up next? No, Mickey and Goofy are gonna kill my friends, we gotta do something! Kid, I'm gonna have to place you under arrest, this is just sick. Oh, hiya, pal! Oh, look, he called the cops! We'll be right down to talk! Come on, Goofy! Jesus, you aren't lying! No, they're gonna kill us! Jinkies! Uh, Let's hide, kid! Let's hide in this closet, okay? <laughs> Close the door, close the door! Shh, quiet, kid. We have to not make any noise. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, I don't see them, Mickey. Well, we gotta find them before I call backup. Yoo-hoo! The sooner you come out, the sooner you can feel the sweet release of death. Yeah, we're not gonna hurt you. We're just gonna kill you. Come on, Goofy, let's look for them. Okay, Mickey. Come out, come out, wherever you are. When we find them, I'm gonna cut their hands off. Oh, I'm gonna make them saw their own feet off. Shh, kid, they're right outside the door. I gotta get past this level. I keep getting two stars and it's pissing me off. 
Goofy, do you hear angry birds? Oh, they sure do, Mickey. Aha! Uh -huh, there they are, Goofy! Start sawing your feet off! I don't have feet. Well, you! You start sawing your feet off! Oh, ho, ho, oh, boy. Gotcha! Mickey! Oh, gosh. Your eyes all right in there. Oh my god, since you saved our lives. How'd you know where to find us? I heard it over your radio, mate. Then I brought my old tranquilizer. Oh, well, put these two in handcuffs. I'm gonna go free those other kids. All right, I'm on it. Come on, kids. You're safe now. Are you kids okay? They tried to kill us. Yeah, all because we say Universal's better than Disney. Well, I mean, I agree with that. They do have more roller coasters. Exactly! So Mickey Mouse is going to jail, right? Oh, no. We're not technically allowed to arrest Mickey Mouse. Wh well, why not? I mean, the law doesn't really apply to him. He he's Mickey Mouse, you know? I mean, we're just allowed to tranquilize him and take him back to Disney World. Well, wh why can't you arrest him, though? I mean, he's Mickey Mouse, man. He bought Star Wars because he was bored. And then he bought Marvel because he was bored again. I mean, he made Disney Plus just because he wanted even more money than he already had. Oh, so Mickey Mouse can come back and hurt us if he wants to? Yeah, if he wants to. But if he does, don't call me. What? You guys want to go to six? Hey, Dad, did you know that if you eat paper, then you poop out trees? That's not true, Jeffy. Yes, it is, because paper comes from trees, and trees are brown just like your poop. And when you poop, it looks like logs. So you're basically just replanting poopy, stinky trees. Don't eat paper, Jeffy. Uh, I'm still going to eat the paper anyway. Oh, no, Jeffy, stop eating the paper. Oh, I'll have to. Give me the ah! What? You gave me a paper cut on my finger. Jeffy, it's a little tiny cut. You cut the bone. Oh, no, Margaret, we have to call a doctor. I'm not going to call a doctor over a little tiny paper cut. There's blood. Where I think you hit an artery! Ah! Okay! I'll call a doctor! Ow! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, my daddy cut my finger off! Oh my god, let me see! Do you think you can reattach it or is my finger gone forever? Okay, that's just a paper cut. I told him it was just a paper cut. But it's all the way down to the bone! Okay, you guys call the doctor over a paper cut? Well, he won't stop crying and screaming and we don't know what to do. Cause I'm gonna bleed out and die! No, just put a band-aid on it. Baby, can you go please grab a band-aid? Actually, I think we're out of band-aids, Marvin. Well, no, I'm definitely gonna bleed out and die! We don't have band-aids! <sighs> okay, look, I'm gonna go to the store and buy you guys some band-aids, but that's me being very nice because this is not my responsibility. Yes, please go buy us some band-aids. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store. Ooh, can you get me a Lunchable? Okay, I will get you a Lunchable too. Does anybody else want something from the store? Yeah, actually, can you get me the rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy on the baby aisle? Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Marvin, would you like something from the store? No, I just want you to get the band-aids. Great. Actually, I just realized, I don't wear socks with my shoes, and I'd like some socks, please. Okay, I will get you some socks. I don't have shoes. Is that you asking me to get you shoes? Yes. Would you like some socks for those shoes? I don't know, maybe later. No, I, you know what, I'm gonna get the socks now so I don't have to make two trips. Okay, let me see if I have this right. You want Lunchables, socks, and shoes. You want socks, and you want the rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy from the baby aisle. Am I forgetting anything? The band-aids. Oh, of course, the whole reason I was going in the first place. Ah, Jesus, okay, I'm gonna go to the store. Do not call me with anything else. You've reached your limit. Okay, let's see. I got the Lunchables, the Band-Aids, the shoes, the socks. Now I'm just missing the Rainbow Donut stackable bigger to small yellow stick toy thing. Where would I even find that? Oh, well, I guess that's what he described. Wait, there's a bigger one down here. It's not my fucking get out. I can't believe I just bought all that stuff. Brooklyn guy, you were just too nice. Hey! Oh, please don't shoot me! Tell Giovanni I'll give him his money back! Wait, oh, sorry, I thought you were somebody else. You got any change? Oh, um... No, sorry, I don't have any on me. Well, you're a doctor. You have money. Well, I mean, that's true, but, I mean, right now I only got this card. Give me that. Um, okay, yeah. You know what? I'll give you my credit card, and you can go in there and buy anything you need, and then I'll cancel it in a couple minutes, so you have until then to buy anything you want. Thank you, credit card man! Okay, I'm gonna call the credit card company and cancel that card. Okay, so should I cancel the card now, or give them a minute to buy a drink or something first? I'm just gonna cancel it now. <sighs> okay. Come on. Pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. Time is of the essence here. We're sorry. We cannot get to your call at this time. Please call back later. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not right now. No, no, no. We can't do that right now. I'm gonna call back. Come on. Come on. Somebody answer. I know somebody works there. Come on. It's not that busy. We're sorry. Fuck. We fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is bad. This is bad. There's a homeless guy in Target with my credit card. I gotta go find him while calling back. Okay, food, food. He's probably hungry, so he'd be in the food aisle, right? Like, where, where you at? Homeless guy. <laughs> Hobo. 
Anybody see a homeless guy with my credit card? He's probably got a buggy full of stuff. Like, really nice stuff. Uh, oh, hello? We're sorry. Shit! Here's your crap! Ooh, I want my shoes! Come on, answer! Oh, I want my rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy! Pick up the phone! I want my socks! God damn it, they're not answering me! Who are you trying to call? Uh, Ghostbusters! Shut up! No jokes! I'm trying to call the credit card company because I gave my credit card to a homeless guy! Why would you give your credit card to a homeless guy? Well, he asked me for change and I told him I didn't have any Aww, change- Aw, these are too small! Well, you buy your own damn shoes! You didn't tell me your size! Can you return them? No! Just wear those! I, I gave my credit card to a homeless guy because he asked me for change. I told him I didn't have any change. I had a credit card. And he said, well, you're a doctor, so you should have money. And I said, fine. Here, take my credit card. Buy whatever you want before I cancel the credit card. But I can't cancel the credit card because they won't answer the goddamn phone. I want my Lunchable. Wait, it's in the bag. Oh, I wanted a bigger rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy. Well, yeah, you're not my kid. Oh, I wanted pizza. You didn't specify. Everybody shut the hell up. What, hello? Shit. Well, why don't you just call them? What, what do you think I've been doing? Are you stupid? What do you think I've been doing for the last 20 minutes? They're not answering the phone. Wait, wait, hello? It, it's ringing? It's ringing? Fuck! They're not answering their phone! Well, why don't you just call them one more time? Okay, fine. I'll call them one more time. Jeez. I wonder if they'll answer this time. Nope! They didn't answer! What? Oh, look! The news! Breaking news, okay? The employees at my credit card call center are currently on strike. So if you have a problem with your credit card, your phone call will not be answered at this time. More so, credit card fraud is on the rise. So be careful who you give your information to. Oh, well, that's just perfect. The day I decide to give my credit card to a homeless guy is the day the credit card workers decide to go on strike. Why don't you go on the website and freeze your card? I didn't know I could do that. I'm going to try that. How about the look? I got the lollipop. Oh, oh. oh, great! It says the website's down for maintenance and that I should call! What? The news! Breaking news, okay? The credit card website designers have joined in on the strike! So not only will you not be able to call in, you won't be able to log in online either! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I'm living in a nightmare! Hey, baby, look. I got the really big ice cream cone. You want to buy it? Aww, oh, my Capri! The sun is gone. That's because you drank it all. These socks are weird. That's because you put them on over your shoes and on your hands. You know, I feel like you guys aren't taking my problem seriously. Well, what's he spending your card on? Hold on, let me check. Let me check my Apple wallet. Um... Oh, good lord, this guy's going crazy. What? He spent $1,000 at Best Buy. He spent $500 at Leslie's Pool Supplies. He doesn't even have a pool. What would he buy there? And look at this. He spent $100 at Ruby Tuesdays and TGI Fridays. Pick a day of the week. Well, you're a cop. You can arrest him for all this credit card fraud. It's not credit card fraud. I gave him the card and told him to spend the money. Then why are you mad? Because I just thought he was going to buy a drink at Target. I thought it was going to cancel the card. Okay, well, then what's the last thing he bought? Oh, let's see. Oh, my God. He, he spent $3,000 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Why would he even go there? Well, I mean, I guess he is homeless. He does need a bed and a bath and beyond. Well, why don't we go there and see if we can catch him? Well, he's going to be gone by now. Okay, well, I know the owner of the credit card company. Why didn't you say so? Well, look, I'll go call him and tell him to come over. Okay. Oh, what do you want, Marvin? I'm stressed out. Why are you so stressed out, Goodman? Because my employees at the credit card call center are on strike. Why are they on strike? Get this. They want more money. How selfish of them. I have a yacht that needs gas. How is my yacht going to get from Tahiti to Morocco without any gas? Well, how much are you paying them an hour? A staggering, a mind-blowing 50 cents an hour. What? 50 cents an hour? You can't do that. The minimum wage in America is $8 an hour. Well, I'm not paying that in America. I outsourced. I built a call center in Thailand. So in Thailand, you can get a handy for $40. So I'm laying there getting one thinking, hmm, if you can give a handy for $40, you can answer a phone for 50 cents. So I hired 10,000 employees and paid them 50 cents an hour each. They were loving it, and so was I. I loved it so much, I bought me a Bugatti. Well, I have to pay for the Bugatti, so I lowered everyone's pay to 25 cents an hour. Now they're outside on strike! Well, could you just, like, raise their pay for, like, a day so they'll answer my phone calls? No! Because I didn't get to be a trillionaire by giving people what they want! I'm gonna let them stomp around outside like a kid at Toys R Us! This is a hard lesson they need to learn. They know worky, I know pay ye. Well, they were working just fine till you lowered their pay. You hush. That is enough out of you, mister. Well, could you personally cancel my credit card since you own the company? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I usually pay someone to do that, so you're gonna have to take that up with them. But as far as I'm concerned, I got $40 burning a hole in my pocket, and I need some beef jerky, and not the kind that you eat. 
Well, great. What are we going to do now, Marvin? Well, why are you still calling them if you know they're on strike? I'm hoping one of them has to go inside to pee and they hear a phone ringing and they want to help a desperate man. Okay, well, don't you have a brother, brother that's good with, like, computers? Yeah, so? Well, why don't you call him and see if he can hack into the credit card server to cancel your card? <gasps> Marvin, that's a great idea. I'll call him. What's up, broski? What's on your fly, looking guy? What's going on, Toyota-san? <sighs> Hello, Jonathan. Oh, I see you have socks on your hands. Trying to avoid a mess, I see. I do that sometimes, too, but it doesn't feel like the real real thing. Even though I don't know what the real thing feels like, I would assume it doesn't feel like socks. I would suggest rubber gloves. My feet hurt. Oh, rub them! Calm down, Jonathan. She needs your feet rub, Brooklyn guy! Okay, look, uh, the reason I called you is because I gave my credit card to a homeless guy, and now he's going on a spending spree, so I need you to hack into the credit card company's website and cancel my card. I thought you would have a challenge for me, but what's in it for me? What's in it for Big Johnny? Big Johnny? Yeah. What, okay, what do you want, Big Johnny? I want a key to your house. What, why? That way I can go in whenever I want and get in your bed. But no, that's not happening. Well, fine. I want a picture of your wife's chest. No! Fine. I want one of her shoes. Ew, no! I mean, come on. They don't even fit. Ugh, fine. <sighs> Here you go. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Why would it be? Oh, if I'm Popeye, then this is my spinach! I'm gonna go grab my laptop! Let's do this thing! Alright, so I grabbed my laptop. What's your credit card provider? Goodman Bank and Trust. Oh, they have a level one security system. Easy. Uh, get past your firewall. And I'm in. But really? Just like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's making a lot of purchases on your account. Let's put a stop to that. And done. It's canceled. But really? It's canceled? Oh, yeah, but I can't reverse any of the charges that he made on your account. You're going to have to return all that stuff. But I can't return the stuff because I didn't buy it and I don't know where the homeless guy is. Well, there's a homeless guy outside. Here's a bunch of stuff. What? Show me! Okay. Yay, Fortnite. There he is, Brooklyn guy. Hey, asshole. You having fun spending all my money? Hey, credit card man. Yes, I am credit card man. I'm going to be taking this back. Hey, you took my credit card. I took my credit card because you've been spending my money on pools and PlayStation 5s and TVs and TGI Fridays and Ruby Tuesdays. Yummy rib man. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying your ribs. Oh, don't be mad, Brooklyn guy. Look at the life he has now. Yeah, I mean, I guess I do feel a little better that he, you know, made a nice life for himself here. You know, Marvin, I just realized your son hasn't asked for those band-aids I went out and got him. You know, it actually would be kind of nice if you paid me back for all that stuff I went and got for you. <sighs> okay, all right, I guess that's the last time I do anything nice for any- So, guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, something's wrong with my phone. Joseph, what'd you do to it? I just dropped it one or two times. One or two times? Yeah, what's wrong with it, dude? Hey, guys, looky there. The news is on. <gasps> Breaking news, Mkay! The car that Tupac Shakur was shot in was sold for $1.2 million. Damn! R.I.P. Tupac! Yeah, rest in paradise, big homie. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, that car sold for $1.2 million just because that guy got killed in it? But that guy, Junior, that guy is Pac. Yeah, Mr. All Eyes on Me! Yeah, double P.A.C. 32's up, not your shoes up, bitch. Yeah, Cody knows what I'm talking about. Shit, I gotta pour one out for a homie. Yeah, this one's for Pac, what? and this one's for Biggie, and this one's for XXX. And Juice World, and Nipsey Hustle, and Magnolia Shorty, and Lil Snoop, old dirty bastard, and Bankroll Fresh, oh, and DMX, and Pop Smoke, and King Vaughn, and Young Dolph. Oh, and I can't forget Takeoff, that one hit home. And Pee Wee Herman. I mean, I know he wasn't a rapper, but damn, oh, I'll pour this whole thing out for Pee Wee. But go! Go get a towel and clean that up! Sorry, Junior, it's just a lot of dead homies. Oh, water everywhere. All right, Junior, I cleaned it up. Respect, Cody. Shit, you ain't gotta tell me nothing. I lived it, I bend it. Guys, I still can't believe that car sold for over a million dollars just because Tupac died in it. Well, yeah, Junior, it's a piece of hip-hop history. Yeah, he's famous, dude. Wait a minute, guys. I just got an idea. What if we go buy a really cheap car, and then we get a celebrity to die in it, and we can sell it for millions of dollars? <gasps> That's a genius idea! Why didn't I think of that? Junior, I think that might be the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard you say. You're only saying that, Cody, because you didn't think of it first. No, I'm saying that because it's stupid. How is it stupid? Okay, let me walk you through it. You want us, a bunch of kids, to buy a car, which we can't afford, and then get a celebrity, who we don't know, to get in the car, and then we murder them. <gasps> I never said murder. Did I say murder, Joseph? No, I didn't hear murder, dude. Cody, we're not going to murder the celebrity. The celebrity's 
gonna die of natural causes. We do nothing wrong. Well, how are we gonna get him to die of natural causes? We get a very old celebrity. Okay, let me go back through it again. You want us to buy a car, which we can't afford, and then get a very old celebrity we don't know to get in the car and then just hope that they die of natural causes. Yes, that's gonna happen. And here's how it's gonna happen. We're gonna use Jeffy's car. We don't have to buy one. We can already use Jeffy's car. Okay. Jeffy, get in here! Hey, Junior, you call me? Yeah, Jeffy, can we use your car to make millions of dollars? Sure. Just don't waste my gas. Thanks, Jeffy. Yep. See, Cody, look, we already got the car, so we're halfway through with the plan. Now we have to do the hard part of getting an old celebrity who's close to death. Let's start naming off old celebrities. Uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. He's too smart. Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, Michael Jordan. Well, I mean, I guess he is old. Yeah, and he's worth billions of dollars. Yeah. So if he died, then we'd get trillions of dollars. Can we even get Michael Jordan? No. Yeah. How about Dr. Phil? What, do you know Dr. Phil? No, but we could call his show and say, hey, we have a kid in our car who needs therapy and he'll run and get in the car. Yeah, well, he likes helping kids, dude. Usually the kids come to him on his show. Okay, well, it doesn't have to be an old celebrity. We could do a young celebrity. Uh, well, that's even harder because how are they going to die of natural causes? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go find a young celebrity, put him in the car. Then we're going to go call someone that we know that hates that celebrity and say, hey, look, don't you hate this celebrity? We know where that celebrity is. So if you possibly want to kill them, they're parked right here. Well, Junior, now we're back to our original problem of how are we going to get a young celebrity? Okay, has any of us ever met a celebrity? Well, I met Britney Spears. <gasps> you met Britney Spears? Yeah. No, you haven't. Yes, I did. I have a poster. I'll show you. See, you guys, look. This is my poster of her, and she signed it, and I have this Barbie of her. So you really met her? Yeah. Do you have a picture? No, she's afraid of photos because she's afraid her soul's going to get trapped in the picture. But still, it's Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. It's Brit. It's Britney, bitch. Okay, so can you call her over and tell her to get our car? I don't know her, Junior. I'm just a fan of hers, and I definitely can't convince her to die in a car. Junior! What do you want, Dad? Shut up! I need to watch Charlie and Friends in here. My TV's broken. But, Dad, we're plotting and scheming. Look, you can plot and scheme another time. I need to watch this new episode of Charlie and Friends. Ugh. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> Man. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm going to shoot some hoops. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, die, hoops! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Charlie, you're so hilarious. I hope you never die. Oh, uh, Chef PP, come here! What do you want, Braxton? I need you to get me some chips and dip. I'm starving. Well, I don't want to get any chips and dip for you. Uh, go and get me some chips and dip right now. God! Cody, I have an idea. Follow me to my room. Whisper this to Joseph. Okay. Uh, Joseph, Junior has an idea. Let's follow him to his room. What's up, Junior? Okay. I officially know what celebrity we're going to have die in that car. Who? Oh, damn. Give me some space, Cody. Yeah, dude. Get out of space. God. Give him 50 feet. Shit. What? He said he knew. Back up. Okay. Charlie from Charlie and Friends. <gasps> well, I mean, I guess that would be easier, but he's still pretty young. How are we going to get him to die of natural causes? So this is my foolproof plan. So, you are going to call Charlie's manager and say that Charlie got nominated for an award at the Funny Awards. What are the Funny Awards? Some made-up award show that doesn't exist, but he's going to want to go get that award. So, you're going to pull up in front of his house and say that you're his driver, he's going to get in your car, and then Chef Pee-Pee's going to shoot Charlie. Why would he do that? Because, have you seen how my dad treats Chef Pee-Pee when he's watching Charlie? So, Chef Pee-Pee hates Charlie because if Charlie was dead, there wouldn't be any more episodes, my dad wouldn't watch TV anymore, my dad would go get a job, and Chef Pee-Pee would be free. That actually made sense. Yeah. Yeah, so are we all in? Uh, dude, that's just like a foolproof plan. I'm really feeling it. Oh, man, I love the energy. But, uh, I'm out, dude. Like, I'm not feeling like going to jail today, you know? So, I'm out of here. I respect it, Joseph. Wait, what the hell? Can I be out, too? No, only one friend could be out, and he was out first. What? Nobody told me that. I'm gonna be out every time now. No, whoever says out first is the one who gets to be out. So, now you're still in. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go convince Chef PP to kill Charlie, and I need you to call the manager. Wait, how am I gonna get his number? Just Google it. <sighs> Ooh, I'm Braxton. I just gotta have some chips and dip. How about some chips and spit? Three. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna stick my wiener in it. Mmm, yeah, yeah, taste that. How about some pee-pee wiener? <laughs> I'm gonna take the chips and dip up there to him and say, here's your pee-pee wiener. He's gonna be like, what? And I'm gonna say, oh, nothing. Walk away laughing. <laughs> yeah, pee-pee wiener eater. <laughs> He's such a freak. Chef pee-pee! What do you want, Junior? I'm trying to make your dad some pee-pee wiener. What? Uh, nothing, never mind. What are you here for? So, do you ever hate working for my dad? Of course! You know that! That's why I'm making pee-pee wiener right now! So, what if I told you, if you killed Charlie from Charlie and Friends, my dad would never watch TV anymore because there would be no more episodes of Charlie and Friends, and then you would be free? 
That is a genius idea. Oh my god, I should have thought of that a long time ago. But I know I don't know where Charlie is, Junior, so I can't kill him. He could be anywhere on this planet right now. What if I told you I know exactly where he's gonna be? Wait, really? How do you know that? Because I have a friend of a friend who's friends with him. So let me just tell you something. Charlie's gonna be parked in a car that says Jeffy on the side at 2 p.m. tomorrow outside a house. Okay? Okay. So just drive by, mm -hmm. you know, and if you want to, mm -hmm. you could possibly, you know kill him. Okay, bet. Oh, say less. I got this. I can handle this. He's dead to me. I'm not telling you to kill him. That's completely on you. Okay, I think I have the right number. Hello, this is Charlie's agent, Steve Staleberger. Oh, hey, uh, this is Jack Meehoff. Well, Mr. Meehoff, what can I do for you? Well, uh, actually, you just call me Jack Off. That's what everybody else seems to do. Uh, I I'm with the Funny Awards, and Charlie's been nominated for a Funny Award for being so funny. Well, he gets plenty of those. Y yeah, so uh, the award show is tomorrow at 2 p.m., so we're going to send a car over to come and get him. Okay, sounds good. I'll text you his address. Okay, thank you. Wow, that was really easy. Okay, Cody, Chef PP said he's gonna try to kill Charlie. Yeah, and I got Charlie's address. You got the address? Okay, so text the address to Chef PP so he gets the right house. Okay. And also, go pick up Charlie at 2 p.m. Well, I have to pick him up? Yes, Cody. Well, why can't you pick him up? Because I'm the brains of this operation, Cody. Does the brains go everywhere the legs go? Yes. Well, not on this body. The legs are chopped off. So you're gonna go pick up Charlie at 2 p.m. Well, I don't wanna get in trouble. Wear a disguise. <sighs> okay. Okay, Junior, I'm at the house. Now what? Honk your horn. Okay. Now what? Uh, hang up your phone. Drivers aren't supposed to be on their phone. <sighs> okay, fine. But honk the horn one more time after you hang up. <sighs> Bossing me around. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. <laughs> and what's that noise I hear? Oh, it's a honk. It must be my driver. Man, he's driving me crazy. Who the hell is he talking to? Is he talking to me? Ah, oh, man. Let's go to the car. Wait, now how do I open this thing? No. Sir, it's unlocked. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see the button right here. Silly me. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Uh, I'm Cody, I'm your driver. Hi, Cody, I'm Charlie. Where is that laughing coming from? Oh, those are my friends. I have schizophrenia. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good to know. Well, uh, listen, Charlie, I'm taking you to the Funny Awards. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I have heard I'm a funny guy. <laughs> y yeah, so, oh, oh, actually, you know what? I forgot my wallet at home, so I'm gonna go run and grab that real quick. You just stay in the car. Okay, I'll be right here. Uh, sorry, I have to turn the car off. Uh, it's gonna get hot in here. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but I have to save gas. Mmm, I understand. Gas prices have gone up. Yeah, yeah, they have. <clears throat> okay, Junior, he's in the car, and I'm making my way to the bushes. When is Chef PB coming to, you know, do it? Uh, he said he's on his way right now. Okay, good. All right, PP, what lick we in today? So we gotta get this fool named Charlie. He's in a car that says Jeffy on the side of it, but he bout to be a stain on the pavement. Stain on the pavement. Wait, wait, does that car say Jeffy on the side of it? Pull up, pull up. <laughs> Jeffy's gonna go cut me some grass. Oh, it do say Jeffy on the side of it. Oh, that's our target. Nighty night, bitch. What do you say, young fella? Ah, ho! Ah! I killed that bitch! What? I shot that hoe! What? Wait, wait, Junior's calling me. What? Hello, Junior, what? What do you want? Uh, is Charlie dead? <laughs> I clipped that fool! <laughs> so he's dead? Yes, I unloaded multiple rounds in him! Yes, he's dead! Okay, thank you, Chef PB. <laughs> You're welcome! Yeah! I clipped that fool! What? I shot that hoe! <laughs> uh, hello? Okay, Chef PB said he just did it. What? He just said he, said he clipped that fool. Well, he must have clipped a different fool because it didn't happen here. Cody, go check on Charlie. He got shot. He did not get shot. I was standing here the whole time. Chef PP said he unloaded multiple rounds. Maybe you weren't paying attention. I would have noticed if somebody shot him while I was standing here. Maybe Chef PP was using a silencer. He wasn't using a silencer. He wasn't here at all. Cody, go check on Charlie. <sighs> okay, fine. Oh, oh, God. It's so high in here. I must. Hi guys, and I'm Charlie, and I'm dying from heat stroke! Help! Get me out! How does this work? Okay. 
okay, Junior? I'm looking at Charlie, and he's very much alive. Are you sure he's alive? Yes, I'm sure. He's looking right at me. Help me. Wait, what's that noise? It's him screaming, help me. Wait, is he saying help me because he got shot? No, there are no bullet holes on the car. Wait, what's he doing now? Wait, hold on. I think he's dead. From all the gunshots? No, no, let me check. Uh, Charlie, 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 buddy. Oh, God, Junior, I think he's dead. From all the gunshots? No, I think he died of heat stroke because I left him in a hot car. You didn't leave the car on? No, Jeffy said not to waste his gas. Wow, Cody, you just killed Charlie. How do you feel? Well, isn't that what we wanted? Wait, that is what we wanted. Now we can sell the car for millions of dollars. Wait, but who did Chef PB shoot? That's not our problem. Look, call the cops and tell them that you found Charlie dead in the car and we'll get paid. Okay. Hey, sir, you called about a dead body? Oh, yeah, it's Charlie from the famous TV show, Charlie and Friends. Oh, my God, he died? Yeah. Oh, it's okay, Simmons, you can look. There's no blood. Oh, thank God. So what happened? Well, I'm his driver, and I just left the car off while I went inside to use the bathroom, and he wanted to stay in the car, and I told him that was a bad idea, but he just wouldn't listen, so I guess he died of a heat stroke. Oh, that's terrible. And I guess I have to just believe you, because, I mean, there's no way you can get locked inside a car. He could have easily gotten out. Yeah. So whose car is this? Oh, it's mine. Oh, that's okay. You can keep the car. We just need the body, you know. There's no need to investigate this further. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Okay, Junior, the terrible deed is done. So we can go sell that car for millions of dollars? I just hope the money's worth it. Oh, the money's gonna be worth it, Cody. When you smell a million dollars under that big, fat nose of yours, you're gonna think it's worth it. What do we do now? Okay, well, before we sell the car, let's go watch the news and make sure he's dead. <laughs> Wait, why does this dip taste like wiener? Wiener, you say? Come on, Dad, we gotta turn on the news. But I'm watching Charlie! It's very important. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Charlie, from the hit show Charlie and Friends, has died from an accidental heat stroke in someone's car. He was 28 years old. <laughs> no, not Charlie! My life's over! Let's go sell the car, Cody. <laughs> Junior, look! The other news! Breaking news, Jeffy the Friendly Landscaper was brutally mowed down by a random drive-by shooting. The killer was caught down the road celebrating. Here's a picture of his mugshot. He goes by the name of Chef Penis. We also have exclusive footage from the arrest, and we will show you that now. Sir, sir, did you just shoot the man in the car over there? Yeah, I shot that hole. I bodied his ass. He's six feet deep, you feel me? Gun in a car and all. You can have it. What? Wow, you made that really easy for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, no. Wait, Cody, how did Chef PB get the wrong car? I don't know. What address did you text him? Uh, let me check. Oh, no, Junior, I sent him the wrong address number. So you got Chef PB arrested? No, he got himself arrested because he did a drive-by. Okay, now we have to bail him out of jail. How much is his bail? Uh, let me look it up. Uh, ten million dollars. I'm surprised he even has any. So now we have to sell the car for at least twenty million to be able to bail him out. Oh, man. Okay, let's go sell the car. Come on, Cody. All right, Cody, we sold the car. Yeah, we got $10,000 for it. But the Kelly Blue Book on that car was only 5000 so we basically robbed that man. He only gave us this so we would go away. We needed $20 million, and two people are dead, and one of our friends is going to prison and probably getting the death penalty. But hey, $10,000, right? Okay, Cody, I'll admit it. This idea was stupid. Yeah, yeah, it is stupid, Junior. I wish you would have told me. I tried so hard. And got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter, because two people are dead. Well, look, it's not too late to fix this. Yes, it is. Oh, no, we can go to Chef PB's trial and tell the judge that he didn't mean to shoot that guy. He meant to shoot someone else. It doesn't matter. He still shot someone. <sighs> you want to eat some chips and dip? Yeah, sure. I hear they taste like wiener. Order, 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 order. Chef PB, you are being accused of, and proudly admitted to, shooting a man in cold blood while he was simply sitting in his car. Why? I'm sorry, Judge. I thought I was killing someone famous. Oh, he was famous, all right. He was just known as the nicest old man in our town. He waved at everybody. I'm sorry, Judge. I thought I was killing Charlie. Please have mercy. Oh, don't beg me for mercy. Beg God for mercy on your butthole in prison after I sentence you to life in prison. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute, Judge. We got the autopsy report back. The old man didn't die from any gunshot wounds. He died of a heart attack. I mean, probably because he was scared because of the gunshots. But still, Chef PB didn't kill anybody. Well, this changes everything. The law says if the bullets did not hit, you must acquit. So, Chef PB, I sentence you to freedom. Just don't go around shooting guns at people anymore. Especially not the elderly. You might spook them. Oh, thank you, Judge. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, you're a real one. Guess who they let out of jail? Ah! But how? Because they can't hold a real one back. No, 
know really how. Look, the bullets never hit him. He must have got scared and had a heart attack or something. I still feel like you caused that. Nah, he had to be old, like 97 or something. Ooh, chills. Mm. Wait, why does it taste like pee-pee? Oh, I stuck my pee-pee in there. What, really? <laughs> Where's my car? Breaking news, okay? Charlie from Charlie and Friends is not dead. Apparently, he fell asleep in the car, and he's a very deep sleeper, so he is alive.